As a DM, I've learned many things, and my first campaign looks absolutely terrible in comparison to what I can do now. But how have I improved, and what can you learn from my mistakes? My friends, I present to you how to be a better DM. Listen to your players. Remember that this is a shared experience. The players are creating the story as much as you are. If they want something to happen or want to do something, then work it in. Incorporate backstories and inward history into the campaign. Your players will feel more connected and less likely to throw a metal d20 at your head. Don't deny. In the same vein as listening to your players, don't deny their actions, even if they're stupid and would ruin something you had pre-written. If a player wants to do something, they do that thing regardless of your opinion or plans. Anything that happens in-game is canon in your world. Remember that. But also remember that if you or your players are uncomfortable with something, you can always talk to them and sort out issues, preferably before you jeopardize one of your friendships. Be prepared, but not too much so. There's a fine line between a deep world and railroading, so how do you tow it? Well, you have two options. Both work well, but there are also problems with each. Your first option is to build the least amount you can to have a decent session one. This means the bare basics, the town, the NPCs they're interacting with, and the setting for the first main story quest. That's it. You don't need to outline the politics of the kingdom or the thousand year long war between the orcs and the goblins, unless it directly affects your session one. For further sessions, build as necessary. Do they go to a new town? Great, build that town. Do they delve deep into a mysterious cave filled with necromancers? Build that cave. Of course, Remember all the plot lines, history, and locations you've built, so if the players return to that area, they find the results of their actions. The main problem here is that you're restricted by depth, and it requires a lot more improv on your part. Maybe the kingdom they start in is at war with the aforementioned goblins, and the town is an important theater in that war. The players might want to know who the goblin warlord is, or why this town is so important, or even why the kingdom is being attacked in the first place. This is where option two comes in. Option two is basically the opposite. Build the whole world, lay out your nations, leaders, races, cultures, religions, and so forth before the campaign starts. This allows you to easily have an answer for any question and means you don't have to improvise as much. The aspects of world building can be very fun and it means you already have a good profile for your settlements and regions. When your players return to somewhere, you know what they're getting into. You know why the goblins are attacking, but also how the goblin warlord is about to be assassinated by one of her concubines. The main criticism here is that you have less freedom and you can easily railroad your game. You may feel like the players are forced to go someplace rather than choosing it themselves. And finally, don't always give them what they want. As a wise man once said, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. This applies to D&D as well. Let's say a character has a backstory that involves someone in their family falling prey to a demon. This character is set out for the express purpose of finding that demon and getting revenge for their brother's death. While you might want to immediately set them on a path to find that demon, it may be more fun to actually make it harder for them with choices that will shape the character. Maybe you present them with a valid argument, a reason to spare the demon, or even forgive it. That breeds character development and makes the game infinitely more fun for everyone. So, there are my tips to become a better DM. Feel free to put your own in the comments, or even challenge me with your own advice. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and, you know, all that algorithm stuff. Goodbye, and I hope you will in Nat 20 on the rest of your day. Oh.